Defining equivalent ratios. So in this lesson, we're going to be able to identify equivalent ratios and do a little bit of investigating into how to identify and create them. So for the goals today, I have said uh, if I have if you have a ratio, you should be able to create a new ratio that is equivalent to it. Equal, equivalent means equal. You should be able to, if you have two ratios, decide whether they are equivalent to each other. So the first part of this lesson is going to be dealing with uh, tuna noodle, noodle casserole, not my favorite, but we're kind of jumping back to the recipes because we use a lot of ratios when we make food items or drink items. So here's the recipe for your tuna noodle casserole. And these are the instructions on how to make the dish. <clears throat> there are four questions, four questions that I want you to work on with your table mates. And remember, if, if, if you're catching on quickly, then you can be the teacher. If you're struggling, then you can be more of a, an asker. But don't just give people the answer, teach them. So once again, in order to answer these four questions, I put the ingredient list here. You can always stop the video and go back as well. So your student worksheet looks just like this, and you fill out as you go. So now that you finished the part one with the tuna noodle casserole, we're moving on to part two. The question for part two is what are equivalent ratios? Hmm. Equivalent ratios, remember, from the recipe ratios lesson, we can, we can say equivalent ratios can be seen when we double or triple a, a color recipe. We didn't really do a lot of those examples, but or when we double or triple a recipe. So when we were talking about making the powdered drink, when we change the ratio, if we kept the ratio equivalent, then the taste of the drink should be just like the original ratio or the original recipe. So when we make multiple batches of food, we say the ratios of the amounts of the ingredients are equivalent to the ratios in a single batch. So these are the questions that go with just some basic equivalent ratios, one through five, and they're on your student worksheet as well. <clears throat> the ratios five to three and 10 to six are equivalent, are equivalent ratios. I'm gonna show you something that I didn't do much in class, but sometimes you'll hear, instead of equivalent ratios, you'll hear the word proportional. So are two ratios proportional? It's essentially the same thing as equivalent. I'm going to show you something. If you have 5 to 3, and I'm telling you that it's equivalent to 10 to 6, you can simply see if two ratios are proportional if you set them up as a fraction. 5 to 3, is that proportional? 10 to 6. One thing you can do is you can cross multiply. You can cross multiply. You can say 5 times 6 is 30. And then cross multiply the other way. 10 times 3 is 30. If 30 equals 30, we would say they're equivalent or proportional. So that's just one way of determining if a ratio is equivalent, or another word for that is proportional. So what you need to do is do these five problems with your groups. So one more time, an equivalent ratio. Two ratios are equivalent if you can multiply each of the numbers in the first ratio 
by the same factor to get the numbers in the second. For example, the ratio 8 to 6 is equivalent to 4 to 3. Let's just show that. 8 to 6 is equivalent to 4 to 3. And the way we know that is if we take 8 divided by 2, we get 4. And if we do the same to the other number in the ratio, 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's how we know the proportional. And we could have said, instead of dividing by 2, we could say multiply that by 1 half. That's the same thing as dividing by 2. And let's see if the proportional way I showed you, if you take it and you write the, the ratio as 8 over 6, is that equal to 4 for every 3? Well, let's see. 8 times 3 is 24, and 6 times 4 is 24. Yep, they're proportional. They're equivalent. So in summary, how do you make different amount of colored water mixture that have the same color? You have to keep the proportions equivalent, right? You have to have equivalent ratios. If you want to make a different amount of food recipe, how can you ensure that the resulting food will taste the same? Well, you have to multiply each part of the ratio or divide each part of the ratio by the same number. So what are equivalent ratios? Equivalent ratios are ratios that have the same proportions. So did you meet the goals? I can create a new ratio that is equivalent to it. Hopefully when you did the practice problems, you were able to see you can do that. If you have two ratios, can you decide if they're equivalent or not? Did you meet the goals? The exit ticket, you can answer at the bottom of your student worksheet, or, or maybe I should say and, you can also post it at the bottom of the Schoology page. You can pause the video and go through the lesson summary, and check the answers that you and your group members did for part one, the tuna casserole, and for part two, what are equivalent ratios?